Hey, welcome to Storytime. Today we are reading Mousetronaut by astronaut Mark Kelly, illustrated by C.F. Payne. Mousetronaut. The space shuttle is set for launch and the astronauts are doing their last minute training to prepare for the mission. NASA is sending along some special guests for this flight and their training too. Looks like some hard work. One mouse is smaller than all the rest. His name is Meteor. The other mice know he won't be chosen for this important mission, but someone has his eye on Meteor, and he's impressed with the little mouse's hard work. There he is, working real hard. The shuttle commander announces that six mice will be selected for the flight. He picks five of the biggest, strongest mice. But for the sixth spot, to everyone's surprise, he chooses Meteor. He's very surprised. All six are taken to their new home, a special cage called the Mouse Hotel. The other mice are nervous as the countdown begins, but not Meteor. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Wow, look at it go. At first, the mice are pressed flat against their cages by the power of the launch, but then the pressure goes away. The other mice cling to their cage in terror. But not Meteor. He loves the feeling of weightlessness. Hey, little guy, the commander says. You're a natural, a real live mousetronaut. Now they're in space, so they're floating. That's cool. Meteor is taken from his cage and gets a tour of the shuttle. He can even see the Earth way off in the distance. Wow, that's awesome. The astronauts are all very busy during the 14-day flight. There are spacewalks to take and experiments to conduct. But what can Meteor do to help? Then, while answering email, one of the astronauts notices the key to the control panel stuck between the monitors. When he tries to get it out, it accidentally gets wedged farther down. This isn't good, says the commander. We need that key back. One astronaut tries to move the monitor. It doesn't budge. Another slips her fingers into the crack, but the key is stuck down too deep. One even tries pushing it out with a long piece of metal, but with no luck, no one can reach it. The astronauts are getting worried, but as they discuss the problem, a tiny figure has an idea. Being the smallest isn't a bad thing, Meteor says to himself. Maybe I can be useful on this flight. You see him right there? Do you think he'll be able to help? Meteor squeezes his way into the crack. The space is dark and cramped, but Meteor spots the key and tugs at it with all his might. You see him squeezing in there? And there's the key. It's a really tight space. Hey! Look at what our tiny friend has done, the commander says. 
He saved the mission. He got it. All right, Meteor. When the shuttle returns to Earth, Meteor is declared a hero. He's even given a brand new uniform and an official title, Mousetronaut. He's very happy. All the astronauts cheer and applaud, but Meteor is already thinking about his next big mission. All right. The end. Yay, Mousetronaut! Our friend Meteor did it. Um, I hope you enjoyed our story, Mousetronaut. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.